All right, hello, my brethren, and welcome again. So it is now official with Chroma Prime coming out. Before he was leaked last week, uh, along with some information about the weapons he's going to be coming out with. Uh, one of the weapons is what was expected, and the other is not. But I'm going to go over this stuff uh, pretty quick. I didn't have a whole lot of time. I'm going to make this a quickie because... Oh, I just don't want to get attached. Anyway, for Chroma, the only thing that's actually changing with him is that his Prime is going to have 75 more armor, and he's also going to get 50 more energy, so he's just going to get a uh, slight stat buff, which plays to his favor because everyone wants to do a tanky-ass Chroma anyway, and it, this will help also help him get... You know, sustain more energy as well by just having a higher energy pool. So, the first weapon that we knew was coming out is the Rubico Prime, which... It's a sniper rifle. It's, it's not a bad thing, so if you don't have something like a Vectus Prime, uh, this will be good, especially if you do have a Rubico Riven. Uh, the changes to it aren't that significant, but good. It's going to be 38% crit chance uh, versus a regular Rubico's 30. It's going to have a status of 16% versus 12. Crit damage remains the same, though. The fire rate is probably the biggest improvement, so it's going to be 3.67 versus 2.67, and a reload of 2 seconds versus 2.4 seconds. So uh, DPS will be higher for it. Uh, the second one is actually fairly significant, but this was the weapon that was expected, is the Graham Prime. The stats for it are vastly better than the regular Graham, and plus it looks much better too. So the Graham Prime will have 32% crit chance versus 15, uh, 2.4 crit multiplier versus 2, and status of 32% versus 15, so very significant on the crit and the status. Uh, also, the overall damage is bumped up to 170 versus 100, and is also even more heavily uh, focused into Slash, which means you will probably won't see anyone using uh, Galatine Prime again. The, the one negative it gets, though, is that it has... Uh, an attack speed of 0.8 versus 0.95, which, I mean, it's 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 a big-ass sword, so what do you expect? So get your Prime Furies out, get them ready, and if you have a Graham Riven, his disposition is 5. Oh, don't worry, this is just Kool-Aid. Bourbon barrel-aged Kool-Aid. Anyway... That's really all that's different. Uh, I was hoping that they would tweak Chroma's 1 and 4 because they are unfortunately lacking. Grant his 2 and 3 are really good, and the buff to his base energy will help a lot. Well, help a bit. It'll help a bit for that, but he's just going to look better, and you're probably going to still have to dump a shit ton of Forma into him, and now you're going to see a Chroma Primes and PoE hunting Eidolons now. Alright, so here's what he looks like, which is kind of what it is expected, but I will say that Graham Prime does look pretty damn good. And also, here's a peek at the Prime accessories that he's going to be coming out with, which I'm sure I'm going to get as well, because I kind of always do. That's really about... It, oh, this is going to be available on the 25th, so we, we're not going to find out until then where to get the relics and where you need to farm them from. Also, I am doing another deluxe skin giveaway, because why the hell not? This is going to be basically just pick whatever deluxe skin you want. I will put the link in the description for how to enter that, and drawing will be on Sunday night. But anyway... Thank you guys, and take care.